Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again with another tutorial for Avid Media Composer. Uh, in this one, this is going to be uh, Avid Refining Your Cut. And basically, these are a few more tips to uh, kind of tidy up your cuts after you've made the basic rough cut. And basically, that means we're going to be going over a few of the little options um, in the timeline window right around here. And... Um, dealing with a little bit of audio as well as trimming. And I have to say, like I do in all my other videos, I am Final Cut Pro and Avid Media Composer certified, but I'm not a certified instructor in either. Right now I just want to make as many videos as possible to help out you guys, and I know how helpful these will be since Avid is kind of one of those things where you either have to read a book or talk to some type of guru that's been doing it for a very long time. Or you could pay thousands and thousands of dollars to go to a school like I did. So, let's get started. Okay, while you're editing, um, a lot of people tend to start off editing to the sound. As you get more into it, you'll be more accustomed to editing just by picture. In fact, a lot of famous editors um, and good editors tend to turn off the audio sometimes when they're having difficulties and just look at the picture because really what it's mainly about is the picture that's why they call it picture editing if you start editing the sound then it can mess up the flow because people are watching more than they're listening a lot of people say that we get the audio in order to make us make us feel the emotion and the picture is telling us what's going on if we wanted to feel something we could listen to the music and Avid gives us several different ways to uh, track our music and make sure we get to the very end of that one track or uh, 